Okay guys, so this is the part two for the solutions. We got just three questions left. So this is an algebraic uh, fractional equation question. So what I did is I combined them to common denominator, cross multiplied, simplify the tops and the bottoms. And you get seven X minus four over two X squared minus three X plus one equals to one. And then I multiplied the denominator to the right hand side and brought the other terms to the right and then simplified it. You end up with two X squared minus 10 X plus five. So a is equal to two, b is equal to minus ten, c is equal to five, and I just used, um, quite simply, uh, the quadratic formula. You can see, and I simplified it very simply because remember it's a non-calculator test, and you get five plus or minus root thirty over two. Okay, question twenty. This is a nice question, actually. It's a question a lot of schools have left out this topic in the syllabus, but it's very important that you practice this. So gradient of AC, which is radius, that is uh, eight minus three over six minus minus one, which is six plus one, so it'll be five over seven. So the gradient of the tangent will be minus seven fifth because it's a perpendicular. Remember, radius is perpendicular to a tangent at the point of tangency. So that means y is equal to minus seven fifth x plus c, and I plugged in the point A, which is when x is equal to six, y is equal to eight, and found c, which is 82 over five. So y is equal to minus seven x, over 5 plus 82 over 5. If you just multiply everything by 5, you get 5y equals to minus 7x plus 82, and then bring everything to the left. You get 5y plus 7x plus 82 equals to 0. And then the last question, people. Um, obviously, this is a question that everyone struggled with. I kind of uh, sep uh, posted a separate video for this, but I'll go through this again. This is question 21. Uh, so you have these circles here. So what I did, I kind of concentrate on this middle circle and if you look at it these little white sections missing are four sets of these green segments so uh, I'm not going to go through this again but you can go to my earlier videos and look at the explanation so I worked out the first of all I worked out the angle of this little pink triangle um, and then from there I worked out the area of the segment of the green uh, shaded region there and the area of the shaded region asked in the question is basically area of the middle circle minus four of those green segments and here is the answer hopefully you'll understand it and um, if there are any questions please leave a comment and I'll uh, explain it if I can all right thank you very much